we're going to titrate a solution of TRIS, a weak base, with a solution of HCL to get a titration curve for a weak base with a strong acid. We're going to titrate a solution of approximately 0.1 molar TRIS with a solution of approximately 0.2 molar HCL. You will have the initial volume and molarity of TRIS and the molarity of the HCL solution. You should be able to calculate the equivalence point and the half equivalence point. You want to include these in the data that you're collecting. We're going to pipette 50 milliliters of the TRIS solution into the beaker. We're going to add three to four drops of brome cresol green indicator. Brome cresol green is blue in basic solution and yellow in acidic solution. It changes about pH three to four. We're going to place a calibrated CBL pH electrode into the solution. We're going to gently stir the solution. We're going to be careful not to hit the electrode with the stir bar. We've already calibrated the pH electrode, so we're going to come down to collect data. We want trigger prompt, so we're going to come down to trigger prompt and press enter. We're going to wait 30 seconds for the electronics to warm up. Press enter. Our first data point will be when we've added no HCL solution. We've set the burette at 0, 0.00 milliliters. When the CBL reading is stable, we're going to press trigger and we'll enter the volume on the calculator, 0, 0.00 milliliters. We want more data, so we press more data. We're going to enter two milliliters of HCL. We're going to try and get as close to two milliliters as possible, but read your burette carefully and you're going to enter that value on the CBL. When the CBL reading is stable, press trigger and we'll enter the volume on the calculator, 2.00. We want more data. We're going to collect data every two milliliters from zero milliliters to 20 milliliters, every one milliliter from 20 milliliters to 30 milliliters, and every five milliliters from 30 milliliters to 50 milliliters. You also want to make sure that you collect as one of your data points the half equivalence point volume and the equivalence point volume. You should also try and record the volume when the indicator changes from blue to yellow. When you've reached 50 milliliters and the CBL is reading is stable, press trigger, enter 50.00 milliliters on your calculator, press enter. You're now ready to stop. This is the graph of the titration of TRIS with HCL.